Right, it's still raining. It's been raining for five days. So, ironically, let's talk about open sea. G'day, how you going? It looks like open sea is better than rareable because on open sea, it looks like now you can do collections and you don't have to pay gas. I think you only have to pay gas the first time that you uh, create an account or a collection with them. Um, I thought every time that you put something on the blockchain that gas had to be paid. So let's go through OpenSea and we'll find out um, what exactly what the hell, uh, how it works. All right, so go to OpenSea.io, log into your MetaMask. You should already know how to do that. Uh, fill it up with some cash, some Ethereum. Log into your MetaMask if you've got one or whatever wallet that you have. I've already set my profile up. The, the good thing with OpenSea, it looks like that it looks at all the other smart contracts that you've had. Looking here, I didn't even realize, I forgot all about these crypto kitties that I had. And then obviously this one here is the one I did with Rarible, and this one showed up as well. So you can actually mint uh, stuff on the blockchain, on the Ethereum blockchain, and OpenSea will know about it because it's all on the blockchain, and then you can sell it here as well. But OpenSea links your wallet, and then in that wallet is all the contracts, I guess, something like that anyway. So let's go, let's try this out then. Create. Uh, create a collection with your own storefront. Yeah, so it's kind of like a shop. Uh, upload uh, digital whatever, configure your commission, sell your NFTs, uh, all free. You can manage smart contracts that you created outside of OpenSea. So there you go. So I did ones on Rarible. Uh, it even tells you down here, Rarible. Create a new one. Let's see what this does. Create your collection. This is not what you're minting. This is just the front photo. Create your collection. All right, so this is, I don't know, photography. Create. All right. Create a new item. File type, 100 megabytes is the maximum. All right, so let's do a little crazy thing that I did in one of my episodes. This one here. I like this. It was taken from one of my episodes on, on art mode, an introduction to art mode on the Olympus. So and I, used, I just used an art filter. I can't remember what art filter it was, but Guitar Jerry. External link. OpenSea will include a link to this URL on this item's detailed page so that users can click to learn more about it. You are welcome to link to your own page. Maybe I'll link the video that I made that puts a detailed description here properties textual trace that show up as rectangles so you can add as many as you want here doesn't really matter just size artist like on rareable unlockable content so this is the same as rareable I guess include content that can be revealed by others I don't really have any TIFF or raw for this file so there's not much else I can offer I won't bother with that but of course if you had the raw file or you know you can add whatever you want supply the number of copies that can be minted no gas cost to you quantities above one coming soon now this is the bit that a lot of questions are asked about unique items have a maximum supply of one all right so if you want to add more than one you got to do a little bit of hacking the field is disabled by default, but can be enabled by add. So if you add that to the end of the URL, you'll be able to list more than one. You know, one of one, uh, one of ten, two of ten, three of ten. Minting is an auction that brings an item into existence on the blockchain. All right, so we know what minting is. You know, that actually that what that's what costs the gas. To block to mint on the blockchain but the difference with OpenSea as opposed to Rarible is uh, OpenSea is something they call a lazy minting so it means it only occurs when necessary so either when you transfer the item to another wallet or another person or when someone buys it and then you transfer it to that other wallet so that means you can create as many as many as much art as you want chuck it in your 
collection. Only when someone buys it, they pay the gas. So I think what this process here is at the beginning, first one that you create, is it's, it's a setting up your wallet, and that's what costs gas. When you add more pictures or art, you're only adding it to the, the servers on OpenSea, and then when, when someone buys it, that's when you start the process of uh, minting it, and that's when you pay the gas prices. Create. Please wait. Jerry, hey Jerry, I'm putting you on the blockchain. You want to have a look? Guitar Jerry has been created. <laughs> All right. Look, Jerry, you're on the blockchain. Now, where's the gas? So how come I don't have to pay gas? So maybe when you first sell, that's what they're talking about. Sell. All right, let's go to sell. Sell at a fixed or declining price. Highest bid or bundle. Highest bid. That's like a proper auction. And then bundle. Uh, you can choose your bundle. Uh, you can choose a bundle if you want. Uh, let's just sell it a one-off. Price will be on sale until you transfer this item or it's cancelled. Zero point. Another shitty site that doesn't tell you how much you got to figure it out yourself. Zero five is like about a hundred bucks Australian. Include ending price. Adding an ending price will allow this listing to expire or for the price to be reduced until a buyer is found. I'm just going to sell, wait, I'm going to put it up there and, and leave it there forever until someone buys it. Scheduling for a future time. You can schedule. No. You can keep your pub listing public. Why would you want to do that? I guess if you're really famous. If this is your first time selling a crypto collectible, you need to complete two free plus gas transactions, which I guess sets up your wallet to this collection. Uh, bounties. OpenSea rewards 1% to registered affiliates who refer affiliation marketing, you know, multi-marketing, whatever. All right, just list it. Initializing your account first. To allow OpenSea to sell items, you must first complete a free Gas Plus, blah, blah, blah. Please confirm. All right. Alert insufficient funds. You're joking. $147. Are they serious? So I went and sold some Ripple again. I mean, look at the Guay. It's 173 I mean, that's like three times. Let's go back here then, and let's have a look in the Foxman. And there's the fox man. Got him. So I got some cash. All right. Now post your listing. Now that I got some money in there. And now it's 115 bucks. I mean, for crying out loud, it was it was 150 bucks before. Edit 96. Even better. Oh, let's go to average. Please confirm the transaction. Confirmation received. Okay, your item is being listed. Listing your item. Just accept a signature now. Okay, hey, this is not paying anything. This is just a signature. All right, I'll sign it. And you can see there that it, I'm on, that's on sale. And these other ones aren't. If you want to add a commission every time someone sells your work, go to your collections first. Click into it. And then you've got to click on the edit button. Edit your collection. And then from here, you can change it. And there's all this other shit here too, I didn't even see. Yeah, social media crap. Collect a fee when a user sells one of your items. This is deducted from the final price and paid bi-weekly to a payout address of your choosing. So let's put 10%. Uh, please enter an address or destination your payout wallet address. So, might as well just keep everything in one wallet. All right, so that's that little bit there, just to add the commission. Guitar Jerry, not that anyone would search for that, but, <clears throat> oh, there I am. Transfer, you can give it to people, you can give it to your mate if you want. Uh, you can view, oh, there you go. So that link that I put in there, social media, 
then you can report people, I guess, if they've stolen your work or something. Let's try and sell something else. Let's, uh, let me sell then one of my kitty cats. Let's sell Princess Polly Waffle. See if this costs any gas. Highest bidder. See what this does. Minimum bid. Alright, leave that. And the reserve price. That's like two grand. As long as their bid is at least one EFA. Uh, post it. Allow OpenSea IO to spend your CK crypto kitty. Do you trust this site? By granting this permission, you're allowing OpenSea to withdraw your CK and automate transactions for you. A fee is associated with this request, $12. So I think if you want to sell shit that's on our, on that you've minted on other blockchains like crypto kitties i don't know maybe you got to bring it over here all right so i'm spending 12 dollars to do what to unlock the token for trading allow OpenSea to spend your weth your wrapped ethereum listing your item just accept the signature and wait for us to process your listing and there you go princess polly waffle is up for sale for 152 bucks awesome i've obviously don't have any offers yet uh, referrals copy your unique referral and share it far and wide anytime a new user buys something okay i'll get a sale so it's like a multi-marketing so what is where does that go to just goes to the main site but obviously that's my my address one you just have to pay like the first listing which you know and the gas fees which is always high so if you put the first thing on sale on OpenSea it's going to cost you the you know the exorbitant amount of gas and then once you've done that then anything that you list after that is going to be free until someone buys it and then they pay the gas not you so it's a win-win and then I saw, I did a Crypto Kitty there. That was minted years ago on the Crypto Kitty uh, site. It looked like I paid a $12 fee to bring it over from Crypto Kitties. If they like your work um, and they think it's rare enough and you know, you know, you might be popular one day, um, they might buy it and then they might sell it. I mean, there's a lot of people out there just buying it, not for art's sake, but they're just buying it to make a quick buck. You know, they see someone semi-famous and so they might go oh, I'll buy that and then sell it you know down the track for you know much more I mean no one's going to buy my work but that was just an example of how you can sell your digital works online now because you're putting it on the blockchain it's guaranteed that you're the person who put it there not someone else of course if someone steals your art then obviously it goes back to you know proving hey that's that's not his you know you bought a fake Hey Jerry, are you, you're now officially on the blockchain, Jerry. Your photo is officially on the interplanetary file system. Anyway, that's enough of that. The rain's finally cleared up, so hopefully this weekend, uh, me and Jerry, who? Uh, yes, we'll end up, uh, we'll go for another photo walk. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll catch you on the next uh, photo walk. Subscribe and watch the other Crypto Kitty video. And that one there, I've got no idea what YouTube puts there.